Get your glasses up. Get your glasses up. A toast to the men. Welcome to A Toast to the Men with your guy, S.D. Booker. Thanks for joining me. Thanks for the support. Thanks for commenting. Thanks for hitting that like button. Before we get started, let's go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. Let's go. Now, Kevin Samuels and Dr. Umar Johnson. Uh, two polarizing guys, two polarizing men who are on the opposite ends of the, spe of the spectrum. Um, Kevin Samuels, more so, uh, he's on this uh, path of, or platform of critiquing black women in particular, uh, holding them accountable, raising the bar for black men, and uh, just calling black women out on their stuff, man. Not, not catering, not pandering to them at all. Um, he's, he's very seldom, if at all, complimentary to him. So he's on that extreme side there. Um, Dr. Umar Johnson, he's an extremist too. He, uh, very complimentary, uh, towards black women. Uh, I don't believe I've ever heard him criticize black women or hold them accountable. Uh, he's more so either blaming black men or the system, uh, white white man for the way uh, black women are so uh that's extreme also so i know of both of these guys i don't listen to either one of them uh too often i actually haven't listened to dr umar johnson in so quite some times i can't listen to kevin samuels too often either he's, he's too extreme i like to listen to more balanced stuff so i di digest these both of these guys in pieces uh very seldom but let's get into it. So recently, Kevin Samuels mentioned Dr. Umar Johnson, and uh, he's been sarcastic, facetious, and, and a bit serious also because he showed some frustration as to com commenters, uh, uh, viewers, saying that he needs to speak and act more like Dr. Umar Johnson. And uh, he took offense to that. And so, uh, sarcastically, you know, he, he made fun of some of uh, Dr. Umar Johnson's mannerisms and his uh, sayings and some of his quotable uh, remarks. Uh, Dr. Umar Johnson took offense to that, and uh, he responded indirectly to Kevin Samuels without mentioning his name. He just broadened uh, his, his message to uh, YouTubers. Uh, so, and you know, from his message, kind of, kind of knew he was talking about Kevin Samuels. Um, this is the thing. You know, I speak about balance a lot, and neither one of these guys, uh, at least on social media, exercise balance in their perspective. It's not objective at all. It's extreme. Uh, like I said, Kevin Samuels more on on holding women accountable, checking black women. Not really complimentary towards them at all. Uh, exposing, highlighting their flaws. Which I can't say he's lying, right? He's not lying. And now, you got Dr. Umar Johnson. He's very complimentary. Never uh, highlight black women's flaws. Uh, blames, like I said, the black man or white man for the black woman's uh, atrocities or, or shortcomings. Which is have truth you know uh his he, he's misleading i can't say he's lying he's misleading he's only telling half truth but kevin samuel is uh also only telling half truth also uh now dr umar johnson he believes all women are queens and uh man he holds them on the pedestal which I, I don't agree with i don't agree with all black women are queens I think we got some witches, <clears throat> we got some whores, uh, we got some Jezebels, we got some shady individual women, uh, we got some sorry women, and uh, yes, we do got some women that are that are, that are queens that are high end, uh, but I think I really think that's a five percent of uh, the female population. So I believe um, that's a unique woman, but. That's not saying, uh, you know, within that 95%, 
I mean, you can have a 10 to 15 percent that are decent, you know. Uh, but um, the kind of woman Dr. Umar Johnson is is praising, man, that's that's a five percent woman, man. Uh, but I'm just saying there are some quality women in the 15 to 20, 20 percentile. But uh, to say all black women are queens and uh, <laughs> need to be held in high regard. Uh, I, I disagree. I disagree wholeheartedly. Uh, now, Kevin Samuels. To only highlight, you know, the, uh, the negativity of the black woman is misleading, too. I don't agree with that either. Uh, you know, that's misleading. That's uh, deceiving. And so I, I can't co-sign that either uh, fully. I think if these guys were on the same platform and were a team, I mean, it would be dynamic because we'll have an objective view, both ends, more balance. But um, they're apart, they're not on the same platform, or they're not a team. So now they kind of oppose each other. But I want to tell the people, don't be surprised if these guys are good friends behind the scenes. You know, man, this is all uh, a game to an extent. And uh, these guys have made it to where they've made it to because they've played the game quite well. Uh, they both, they both draw energy from the black woman. Uh, they know the black woman, to speak on the black woman, whether it's from a negative perspective or a critical perspective or a positive and complimentary perspective is going to draw eyeballs if you really go hard and become an extremist on either side. It's going to draw views. It's going to generate money. They know this. Uh, Derry Jackson proved the same thing. He was an extremist also, but pandering to the black woman drew eyeballs uh, his channel is able to monetize quite quite, quite well. So they know this. Uh, do, I believe, they're hustlers or they really believe what they're preaching? I don't know. You know, I don't know these guys personally, so I really can't say. But I do know they know the game. They know how to play it. Uh, anybody that does any, is in any sales uh, or does any research knows the money is uh, associated with the women. Women, they may make, make less than men, but they spend more. Uh, look at studies, women spend 83 cents on a dollar. So women spend more, women are on social media more. So uh, yeah, if you can get the attention of women, whether it be from negativity or positivity, you're in. Uh, this is this is proven. I think back in the day, man, uh, I heard a story of Tupac telling Biggie that Biggie's song Party and BS was cool, but he needs to target the women. He needs to make his music for the women. He told Biggie, that's who buys records, the women. The dudes are fickle when it comes to artists and buying records, but the women will be loyal They'll buy your records. And Biggie changed up his style. And look at that, man. At his own admission, black, fat, and ugly. But, hey, he had the women's attention. He made music for the women. Right? The beats, the lyrics, tailored to the women. And uh, he drew that attention. So, that, that's the thing, man. If you if you know marketing and uh, you know sales, you know that's the key, man. Targeting on women and you can make a, a good living. And these brothers know that. So don't be fooled. Even with my book, my book, A Toast to the Men, was not targeting women. I was targeting men. But women are my number one supporter. I, I can't really explain it, but that's my number one supporter, women. Uh, they support. So, and, and 
as a token of appreciation, that's the reason, that's one of the reasons I'm writing the book I'm writing now, Palma Christi, as homage and uh, homage and uh, appreciation to women for their support. And I got this idea, this concept to write this book, three book series, Palma Christi, that'll be out next year. And so, uh, yeah, don't be fooled. Don't be fooled by these guys. It could be an act. It could be real, but don't be surprised if these guys are, are friends. And uh, my personal choice is for us to focus on building up the men, building up the black man, and not put so much attention on the black woman from a negative perspective or a positive perspective. I think it's a distraction. So I'm going to encourage brothers to focus on yourself, focus on building up yourself, building up other men. And I wholeheartedly believe once you focus on yourself the woman the women will get in line man i believe that because at the end of the day she wants to be with the winner so focus on you and your brothers becoming winners and everything else will line up you know what? i want to end it with this it's ironic that these two brothers uh focus on women so much for different reasons but for the same reason too, right? Uh, that bread, those eyeballs. But neither one of these brothers are in a relationship with a black woman, a committed relationship. Neither one. They both say they're single. But they have so much advice for brothers. They have so much advice for black women. One has so much criticism for black women. One has so much, so many compliments for black women, but neither one of these guys are in relation with black women. Uh, go figure. So are you being hustled, right? Or are you being fed righteously? I think about that, man. You, you invest so many time, so, so much time into these guys. But in their real life, away from the camera, they're not invested in a black woman. Smarten up. All right. Peace.